YouTube. So today, um, well, first of all, sorry, it's been so long since I've made a video, but I'm going to work on that. <laughs> so today is a long awaited video that I asked about like literally last year. Uh, I asked some people on my Facebook page to tell me some questions they had about living in Japan. So here we go. Let's see. I'm just going to go down the list. So, I just want to say, before I answer these questions, these are my opinion. If any Japanese people are watching this, please don't be offended. This is from my point of view. If you are not Japanese and you have a, another opinion, that's your business. <laughs> don't take it out of me. Okay? So, the first question was, the first question is from Carlos. Carlos says, what was the hardest thing you endured so far? So, for me, the hardest thing was, or is, the loneliness. And I don't mean, like, I'm lonely. I don't have friends. But, like, I do have friends and stuff. But, you know, sometimes you miss the people who you care about the most in the world. And what I mean by that is, like, your family, right? Or, like, your very, very best friends. And, like, it's gotten better now because I have a pretty good friend. And I have other friends, you know. But sometimes you still miss your people who you grew up with or went to college with. So, for me, it's that loneliness. And sometimes it's just the, the feeling of being alone in general. Like, I live in a city where I don't know anyone. My friends who I do have live 45 minutes an hour away on the train. So, yeah, it's the loneliness, right? Okay, the next question is from Lionel. Uh, the worst food you've tried. Um, I gotta say, hands down, it's gonna be natto. And I know that's like the foreigner stereotype, but like, I don't like the texture or the flavor. And I only tried it once and I'll never try it again. If you don't know what natto is, it is fermented soybeans. So, <laughs> ew. <laughs> but honestly, it's not even the flavor. It's the, the stickiness of it. It's also one of the reasons why I don't like cheap bubble gum. Like, it's just not my thing. Um, the next question is, I'm going to make a separate video for this one because it's too much. But um, it's uh, it's from a friend named Colin. And she asked, uh, 10 things everyone should know, tourists or residents before coming to Japan. Hold that thought. I'm going to make that video. But not right now. <laughs> And I'll probably make it pretty soon. Don't worry. The next question is from, it's from Olivia. And she said, did being culturally immersed in Japan give you a deeper understanding and appreciation of a place that was one unfamiliar? Olivia, I would have to say yes. Um, I mean, you know, we all have like that, that preconceived notion of what Japan is. Uh, but I think once you live here and you see the people and like the way things are nothing's perfect of course but uh you do get a, a great um understanding for the place so i have to say yes olivia good question olivia also asked the next question which like colin's question and we have to make a separate video for but she said what are five pros and five cons of living internationally i got you olivia you just hold that thought the next question is from Julie, and she says, what has been one of the hardest things to adapt to? Um, it's a similar question to Carlos, but I think for me, Julie, the hardest thing to adapt to is, like, not being in my own culture, if that makes sense. Like, here, there's things that you're expected to not do, like... Like, you're not really supposed to talk on the phone on the train. Like, you're not supposed to eat while you're walking down the street. Or, like, and also, like, you're always under the microscope because you're the foreigner. Especially, like, in a situation now where I'm a teacher. And everyone knows that I'm a teacher. So, you're under a microscope 24-7. And teachers are much more highly regarded in Japan than they are in America. Like, here, you're, like, on the same level as a doctor. So, they're looking at you like, hmm... What is that what is that foreign teacher doing? And so you have to be very careful about all the decisions you make, everything you do, what you say, how you say it, who you speak to. And so for me, it's the fact that I'm not 100% free, if you will. <laughs> um, the next question is, 
from my friend Aiko, and she says, how did you create a community, a group of friends in an unfamiliar place? The way I created the community is by meeting people with um, like-minded interests, basically. Okay. The next question is from Carolyn. Uh, what do you like most or least about your about living there? Um, what I like most about living here is the fact that I don't have to worry about being shot. Um, I'm not constantly in jeopardy. You know, like there's no police following me around. Like, and I mean that that I've heard differing opinions, but. Mostly, it's like that for 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 most people here. Like you, you know, if you're if you're not up to anything, you're usually cool, and I like that that freedom. What I what I like the least about living here is the fact that I'm so far away from my family and friends. Um, Charisma asks, how have you been communicating over there with the language barrier? Um, well, a lot of Japanese people speak broken English. And I speak broken Japanese now. In the beginning, it was hard because I didn't speak any Japanese. But, you know, body language and, and broken English and pointing, it all comes together. <laughs> but now that I've been here for going on three years, or it actually has been three years, um, you know, I communicate with broken Japanese and broken English and pointing and moving hands and body language. And it works. <laughs> so I'm steadily improving my Japanese. And eventually I'll get good at it, right? Okay. And the last question is from Esmond. Have you come across the Northern Soul scene over there? I have no idea what the Northern Soul scene is, to be honest with you. Um, so no, I have not come across the Northern Soul scene. But, yeah. So... Those are, were the questions that I got on my Facebook page for my Q&A. Um, you know, I will do another Q&A when this channel grows. Because I'm sure people who discover the channel will have questions for me. And this one is kind of impromptu and very old. And I should have done it a long time ago. So, um, I, tonight I'm going to actually film the next two videos as well. And I probably will post all three as a trio. So... Uh, please check out the next video and like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you. Have a great day.